early memories of Scott Hall. Scott, okay, uh, Minneapolis. Uh, we all, if you remember, like on nine hundred two one zero, they had the uh, they had the garden, the garden there with the pool in the yes. center. Okay, well, our apartments up there, it was called the Warren Apartments. It was right across, you know, it's right down the street from the airport. We all had to live close to the airport. And uh, so Scott Hall lived directly up above me. I lived on the bottom floor. Colonel De Beers and Buddy Rose huh. lived off this way. So my biggest thing about Scott was as, uh, when when I would start cooking because I always have a tendency to cook too much. And I, I love a lot of guys. They always go out to restaurants and stuff like that. But I, what I would do if I make some lasagna, or spaghetti, or something, I'd open the windows and lo and behold, sooner or later. They'd all come drifting in. So I'd come down, he'd be looking. I know he's always looking down because I'd look up there and I'd see him. Sherry, what are you cooking? I said, come on. Yeah. So that was good. They, all the guys used to eat them. Scott was good. Scott was very helpful. Him and Kurt uh, were together at the time. They were the champions. Right. And uh, as, as a young Scott Hall, a young buck looking, good looking. I mean, he had it all. I'm glad that he was alive. And I'm glad that he's here. I hope that he can turn his life around. I miss that old Scott. He's a good guy. But in, no matter what condition he was in, he was always respectful to me. He always, if there was anything that he could do to help, he always did. I never had him to be rude to me in any way, shape, or form. Larry Zabisco, early memories of Larry. Larry Bear. Yeah. <laughs> um, Larry was wonderful. Larry Zabisco was uh, the person instrumental in getting me my job with Fern. He went in with, in with me into the office. I had done a, uh, I had worked on a few shows for Fern at the time, so he knew me. And uh, he just, I guess he never thought of me as being someone, you know, that, with a company on a regular basis. And I was living in Nashville at the time, and I had flown up to do a show. And uh, so Larry, he says, we're going to go in there and talk to Vern. And I said, Larry, are you sure? And he says, yeah. I said, I think this can work. And uh, so he, he would, had been telling me about the interviews and everything. So Larry helped me out. He helped me work on my interviews. He helped me become more self-confident. And he says, Sherry, when you get nervous, just look out that crowd or listen to them and think everybody wants me. And I said, okay. And that was, it was history after that, pretty much. We went in there and talked to Vern, Larry, with Larry's help of talking to Vern with his confidence in me that I could do, you know, the female manager's role at that point in time. It, without him, it would have never happened. Now, were the boys cooperative in giving you spots in the matches and stuff? Oh, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Now, initial impressions of Medusa when she first came into the territory? Deuce? I go well. She uh, uh, she was she she was later a London Blaze, uh, Blaze. Right. But uh, when she first got the name Medusa, I went up to her and I said, Debbie, why did you have to pick a character that has snakes coming out of their head? And I hate snakes. Right. And, and because she was all she was not a snake. You know, she she was a female like everybody else. She she was career minded and goal oriented woman. She's got the. Um, she wanted to be in the wrestling business. She wanted to be champion. She did what it took to get there. And she worked very hard. At it. You guys had a match at Super Clash, too. That sticks yeah. out in my mind. Any yeah. memories of that match? Or? <sighs> Super Clash, God. <laughs> I was thankful that uh, we both came out of the ring without being hurt. Women have a tendency to be a bit rough. Right. That's only because we had we have always seen that we have to follow the guys, the guys and in our eyes, their perfection. And we have to come as close to that, if not better. What the thing that Debbie and I used to like to do, Medusa, is we used to like to change our matches around and ever who was following us, if those guys did not say, God, I hate the followers, then we weren't doing our what was expected of ourselves. I mean, we had our own expectations of what we had to do, and we always, we just always liked to have a good match. Now, was it true that Juan McDaniel actually brought her into the company so you could work with her? Or? I'm not sure who, who brought her in, but if Wahoo did, it was a good thing. Huh. God bless him. Now, were you extra tough on her? Because some say, well, Medusa actually credits you as being tough on her when she said it in a positive light. If I, if I was rough on her, it was not intentional. It was because uh, we both demanded the best from each other. She was newer at the time. Uh, I've never 
wanted to go into the ring or with the intentions of going into the ring to hurt someone. That, that is not in my makeup. Uh, maybe I was a little stiff occasionally, and it's only because I saw that something was going wrong and I had to take control of the match to get it back on track again. But she followed good. She was wonderful. And hey, her career speaks for itself.